Hey everybody, it's Comp Help. Thank you for watching this video. This video is actually part one of a two part tutorial which will show you how to put a few things on your flash drive to help make it an awesome internet experience on the go. Alright, so in this first video, I'm going to show you how to install a portable internet browser and I'm also going to show you how to import your desktop computer's bookmarks to your flash drive internet browser. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get the bookmarks off your desktop browser to your portable uh, flash drive browser alright now what are the perks to doing this first off you can take your bookmarks on the go which is extremely convenient for all those people who go to school or have work you know I I've been using this for a few months now and it's just it's just so much easier you know I don't have to worry about typing in my favorite websites all the time oh what was that uh, thread link that I was reading the other day it's all just there in your bookmarks and it's awesome you know because most computers at school like my my school computers uh, every day every night the, everything gets wiped everything on the computer gets wiped and everything is refreshed so that way you know there's not some huge file or something on their desktop that's totally anyways okay and the second thing I'm going to show you with this or another perk is the option to save your passwords for your favorite uh, login or you know websites okay so like uh, YouTube Gmail whatever now be careful though this can be dangerous if somebody gets a hold of your flash drive they and if you save your passwords they will have the uh, accessibility or they will have access to your accounts okay so you have to be careful with that I really would not recommend saving your passwords on it but you have the option you know so I mean as long as you don't lose your flash drive or you have your flash drive on lockdown or something or you have a special flash drive or you have a pat anyways let's get on with the video that's enough of me talking okay so control tab here or alt tab I mean and I'm gonna go and open up my internet browser and we're actually going to use portableapps.com to install these uh, to get the installation files to the uh, you know internet browsers. Today I'm going to show you Mozilla Firefox, the portable edition, and the Google Chrome portable. Now I love having both of these on my flash drive. Why? Well, Google Chrome is just a little bit faster. It's it's a lot faster booting up once you double click it, and it's a little bit faster while browsing. So this is perfect for like looking quick uh, stuff up or whatever. That's what I use it for. I mean, a lot of people even prefer Google Chrome over Firefox. I mean, hey, that's your own personal preference, you know? So that's a question. What internet browser is your favorite? Okay, so, and then Mozilla Firefox. I like uh, using Echo Fawn on it or whatever, you know, for my Twitter. And I have all my little apps here and there and, and whatever, you know, you got little add-ons and stuff. So anyways, what you want to do is go ahead and click the link in the description which is below the video and these links will be well, in the description click download and you'll come up with these setup files right here are the install files here okay now what you want to do is actually make sure your flash drive is plugged into your computer double click one of them click run next and right here this is the important part the destination folder click browse and we're gonna go ahead and pop this puppy into the flash drive. Okay, just click flash drive, click OK. Click install and go ahead and let the portable internet browser install. Okay, so if this takes too long, I will just go ahead and skip to the next part. Okay, so it is finished installing. All I have to do is click finish. Alright, and now I'm going to go ahead and do Google Chrome. Click run. OK, next accept yeah cuz I'm gonna read that click next and browse and again select the root folder of your flash drive you can see my Firefox is now installed just click OK click install and same goes for this one I'll just skip to when it's done okay so now Google Chrome is finished installing now just a warning um, or just so you'll know during the install uh, Google Chrome actually has to download something to make sure the install is complete. Okay, so don't be don't be alarmed. Uh, the download actually did not work for me the first time, and all I did was reinstall it, and it worked. Okay, so I mean, I guess I had bad connectivity that first time. But anyways, uh, if it doesn't work for you the first time, go ahead and try it again. Okay, so let's go ahead and import the bookmarks from our desktop version of the internet browser. Just open up your desktop internet browser where all your bookmarks are. Okay, and next, what you want to do is just go to bookmarks and go to organize bookmarks. This is Mozilla Firefox. This is a way to do it on Mozilla Firefox. Okay. And all you have to do is go to import and backup and go to export HTML. This will basically make an uh, HTML file of all your bookmarks. Okay. So let me show you what I mean. This HTML file will save 
ah, whatever. Okay, <laughs> just watch. Okay, it's hard to. Uh, I can't really get the words out right now. Just go to export HTML and save it on your desktop so you know where it is. And now you can see the bookmarks HTML files here that consist of all your bookmarks. Now what you're going to do is go ahead and open up my computer, open up your flash drive, open up your internet browser, make sure Firefox is off. Yes, it is. I quit the program so I can open up the portable version. Okay, now this one's open. Do the same process. Organize bookmarks, but this time we're going to import the HTML from an HTML file. Click bookmarks, which is on your desktop. Open and that's basically it. All we have to do now is go to bookmarks menu, bookmarks toolbar, actually go over here and then shift click those. Okay. And drag them up here. All right? And you might have some uh, portable internet browser bookmarks right there. Just right click and delete those unless you want them. Okay, so let's go ahead and install the bookmarks onto the Chrome portable internet browser. Just double click it. The Chrome browser will tag. Okay, there we go. Open up this tool here. And I like to always show the bookmarks bar. So it's right here. Now I don't need this one, so I'm just going to delete that. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and open up this tool. Go to Bookmark Manager, Tools, Import Bookmarks, select that HTML file again. There you go, they're all here now. So, what you could do is just, uh, well, well, now they're up here in the bar. Okay, it's as easy as that. And if they don't show up, just drag them and drop them there. Okay, it's very, very easy. Alright, so thank you for watching this video. That's basically it. Uh, from now on, all you have to do is open up your flash drive on a computer on the go, launch a portable internet browser, and now you have your bookmarks on the go whenever you need it. Okay, so that's that, guys. Um, this will also save your passwords if you wish it to. Uh, you actually have to confirm the message. Would you like to save your password? And you can say yes or no. And there you go, guys. Very, very easy, very convenient tool. Please check out my website at comphelp.com. Check out my blog at comphelp.info. Check out my blog channel, which I make. A, I try to make a video every day about my day. Okay, at youtube.com slash vvphone vv. Check out my Twitter account. Follow me on Twitter by going to twitter.com slash comphelp. Uh, let me see what else. What else? What else? I have a lot of websites here. If you want to learn how to make money online, like I do, I make some extra cash on the side online. Check out cashcreate.biz. Alright guys, all links will be in the description, guys and girls and ladies, okay? Uh, all the links will be in the description, please check them out. This is it. Sorry if this video was too long for you guys. The next video will be on how to make your internet browsing anonymous. And it's basically the only method that works at my school. And I I've tried everything at my school and the method I'm going to show you is the only thing that works. Very easy no joke okay you don't even have to install anything you just have to run something it's an executable alright guys so thank you for watching this video bye